everyone good morning good evening and good night whenever you're watching sorry for the road noise I'm on my hill that never freezes I'm thought that pretty much the place is out of uh, heightens but that did manage to dig so far in nickel and one cent so I got one heighten modern nickel uh, got a 16 in the hole I resort to digging mes main mes mainly sorry <coughs> mainly metons here now but something interesting popped out of the hole looks kind of shiny just clean it up a little bit looks like some kind of charm or pendant I think the chain definitely isn't silver but the pendant might I'm gonna check it out at home very small though Oops, I lost the piece of chain. It has a bit of weight, could be, could be silver. It has this kind of silver weight, so interesting, very tiny. I thought that for a moment I had a button. Awesome, good start. All right, guys. I did not really cover that much ground. Just decided to dig everything that's iffy one by one. I got extremely iffy signal. Sometimes from one angle being very large, from another angle uh, hitting uh, really erratic numbers, from another angle just hitting really on the high side 36, 37, 38, and I'm like probably junk. I dug up the hole, pulled some dirt out of the hole. Looky here, we got silver, looks like a quarter. It's an oldie. Let's see, it's worn too. 1917. Sweet. Awesome. All right, we keep going. I only got a couple hours, so we'll see what, how far we can get. Already successful hunt. All right, in this hole, sanded beautiful. I don't know how I missed it before. I think that uh, I'm getting stuff now because uh, there's more wetness in the ground that's my main explanation although i have my sensitivity down on the machine uh, and i'm going slow which always helps anyway two uh 60 pennies right next door 20 signal 2021 20, it was hard to dig out because uh, anyway george the fifth penny I think the year was 1928. Can't really see very well. 1920 something. Eight or six maybe. Eight I think. Awesome. We'll keep going. Hey guys. So I didn't film anything yet. I'm kind of looking for a good spot. A lot of frozen ground. Anyway this hill kind of seemed to be okay it's a warm day but just still grand still frozen but looky here what I found I have no idea how old it is I don't suspect this is extremely old some kind of a spur yeah I think yeah looks like a from a kid's toy or toy or, um, it's a kid toy from when they were playing cowboys and Indians. Still pretty good, cool. My first spur. All 
All right, guys, so in this big hole, very scratchy signal, but since I don't have many, I decided to dig it. Look here, some kind of other stuff in there. I think it's 1935 penny. My oldest coin today, KG5. Oops, wants to go back to the hole. Can barely see the K king. This side is clear. 1935. Awesome. Check this out, guys. We got treasure on the surface. Look at this. I'm pretty sure this is nothing, not a gold one. Yeah, it's a, it's a piece of junk. Still makes it kind of cool. Definitely looks like a piece of junk. Yeah, no markings of any, any sorts. All right, still pretty cool. All right, guys. Change location, haven't gotten anything other than the, a penny, but at least it's sort of diggable ground. Right here, solid 19, and it actually looks kind of interesting. Let me get it into the sun. I saw some kind of writing on it somewhere. Uh, it stand a little differently, maybe now. Could be an old dog tag or something like that. There's something written on right there. All right, we're gonna take a look at it later. All right, I don't know if you're gonna hear any of this, what I'm saying. Well, anyway, I decided it's a really nice day. I think it's like 50 something degrees, uh, 53 or 55 at least. Uh, it's actually pretty hot wearing a jacket anyway I came to my old spot I'm not gonna show too much but uh, uh, I got a bit of uh, coins out of here um, if you can see pretty much do we have maybe up to four inches uh, that's uh, not frozen but the ground is frozen underneath but just in that frozen layer, look here, still in a frozen clamp, uh, appears to be silver, earring of sorts. Oh yeah. It's definitely cool. Very nice. It was ringing 21, 22, 23. Very nice find. Find of the day so far. All right, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Looks like I missed one. Isn't that clamp got a really nice, kind of a iffy, kind of but nice signal. Swishing a little bit like silver. Um, what is it? Uh, four inches to get to the frost layer and then another couple inches two and a half and look what popped out Sorry about that. Forty-seven maple then. Awesome. All right. I think. Sorry about the wind noise. I think icy conditions are bringing things out. All the stuff packed in the ice. Anyway, what do we have here? A 
about uh, about five inches down I did get a very slight not a really nice signal hitting 2930 can't believe it I was all over this place before I I I really think this is the ice icy condition like you see once again I had to get through this layer about inch and a half of ice when I popped this uh, out it was nice nice little mark it looks like it's the size of a quarter starting to shine a little bit let's pop it ah. Definitely a quarter. Here, 1940. Mr. George, George the Six. Awesome. Well, I'll keep going here. They're not. Uh, not much down in the ice, so uh, uh, it's not that hard to get to them. All right, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, it's been a while since I turned on the camera. Got a real crappy signal, but uh, decided to dig it. Uh, about seven, eight inches down. We got ourselves. A vehicle, 1945. That's cool. Awesome. All right, it's been a while since I dug anything. I think I got a couple older pennies. Generally, nothing at all. The wind is here. Anyway, I got a really nice. Swish signals down deep. Exactly the, exactly where I found it. Just see this much. Good seven inches. That silver dime. I don't think it's too old. I think it's still a George. I think I see a 1952. See 1952? Let's put it down here. Well, it's definitely shiny. No, it's young, young Elizabeth. So it must be older. I don't think I'll be able to see that date. Maybe 1962. Awesome. It looks like we may have something again. Sounded kind of good. I thought it was gonna be a US quarter. 29.30. Something shiny looking popped out. Oh, it's a silver ring for sure. Let's take a look at it. Not very big. Not small either. Kind of interesting. Let's uh, take a good look at it. Oh, is it on better on the sun? Or is it better here? Oh, it's a frog ring. Cool. Yeah, definitely silver, silver frog ring. There it is. It's not focusing very well. There it is. All right, I gotta hurry up before the wind takes my gloves away. Awesome. All right, guys, time to wrap it up. I'm looking for toad ground. I found a few uh, 
sections uh, and it's getting better anyway let's move on to the finds uh, not much in terms of relics I thought this was something a little bit better I thought I saw writing but uh, can't really see anything it appears to be copper doesn't want to clean up anything any better anyway uh, I found one of these uh, I think it's a kid's uh, cowboy outfit spur uh, older buckle horse tack I assume this little thing I don't know what it's from interesting hard to say it's copper too anyway moving on to some bling you saw the clip on this on the video this one I thought it might be small silver but it isn't it's actually pretty cool I think it says uh, Fatima there lady of Fatima um, moving on to coins one 1967 penny centennial all the young list pennies for wheat pennies nothing too old whole bunch of King George the six pennies a little bit of clad as you can see by the color mostly from the surface I think one nickel was dug we have 1943 V nickel it's always uh, they're kind of a rare find. Is it 1945? Three or five? Three, I think. With King George V. Cool. A uh, couple King George V uh, pennies. One from 35 and one from 1938. That's better. This angle shows it better. And the silver coins. We have a 1962 dime, 1947 uh, dime with maple leaf. They were marked after the India separated. I don't know if you're gonna see, let me. There it is. There is a maple leaf after the seven. King George V uh, quarter from 19, let's zoom out a little bit, from 1917, not uh, the best condition, but uh, still 1917, over 100 year old quarter, 1940 King George V quarter, and uh, some jewelry, little earring, 9 to 5 earring, Sterling ring with a with a frog. Pretty cool. No damage to it, which is good. My daughter already called this one. And a little silver pendant. This one I add on the surface. Appears to be silver. There's no marking. A bit of a pentagram style all right so that wraps it up pretty good start to the spring season uh, of course this was over several uh, outings I think this was one outing on this when I got this quarter all these coins were all these were one out I think this one was just uh, walking in the park uh, I think there were at least two three outings here I think yeah two three outings one I didn't find anything and two outings when I when I found some silver so uh, not bad to start the season and I'll see you on the next night to find their adventure until then take care and happy hunting